Okay, so we're in here today doing some ink wash painting. All right, so ink wash painting. What is that stuff? Well, uh, first off, we're going to be using some black ink today. Now, when you're using black ink, if it gets on your skin, it will wash out. It takes a couple days. However, if it gets on your clothes, sorry, you are out of luck. So make sure that you're wearing like a smock or something to protect your clothing. All right, so I got three brushes here. Um, notice how dingy, dirty they are. Doesn't really matter. Remember, brushes are uh, just your item to get the medium to the paper. So prettiness doesn't really count for those things. And some water. Water is there to dilute, to give me different gradients of our black ink, which I'll, you'll be seeing in just a second. So on the paper, we got a couple things. All right, so we got the value scale a mountain a practice mountain range and a pagoda because we're going to do a Japanese influence piece here so this is old school Japan that we want to focus on um, old school Japan has those nice pretty landscapes uh, that are using ink to illustrate that let's start with our ink wash now I use uh, these to-go containers to store my ink uh, put it over here in that work um, to because it's really handy really easy so I'm going to first by rinse off my brush get a little hydration on there then just dip it straight into the raw black ink now I've got hundred percent black ink on this so on my value scale I want to start painting that in just the regular hundred percent black ink so I get full coverage on my black zone now on the value scale it's going from light to dark now for ink painting you actually kinda of need to think about this in reverse if I start in black and then get my different gradations, so just water on the brush, I'm putting up into kind of a clear section on the lid, add in my next wash, just water on the brush, give a lighter tone, a little more water on the brush, even lighter tone. Notice I'm not even going back to the ink. And I'm just lightening up the tones and I'm just using the diluted water from my brush. to give those grade eight gradients. So going from that black to the darker grays, lighter grays, going all the way down. Now for the mountain range. So, same process, it's that reverse painting. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the ink on my brush and draw the outside line around the mountain range, dip in the regular water, and I'm doing is hydrating that section. Now, as I pull it down, I get my different gradations, get my different gradients. I'm going to go back with just a little bit of ink on here just to go in and give it a little more texture to this section. But that's all we're doing for, our, for this is you have to think backwards painting, so painting in the negative. And do this on your paper do, uh, for your practice. Uh, do practice mountain range, work on the pagoda so that you can work on giving those outside edges some love first then bring those designs inward into the pagoda itself just use some water to lighten up my shapes and then best thing to do and you're going to just take a little bit of tissue just use the tissue to blot any of the excess water that's on the paper so you can get it's nice and dry real quick but you can easily see that gradation so I'm starting with that dice dark black at the top and it fades down bring up close to the screen so you can see so nice black outline and then you can see that fade of the washing fading in that's the key that's what we want to see in this piece all right so today we're working on our continuing our ink wash paintings so right here I've got a little landscape that I drew up here on the large manila sheet of paper manila has got a little bit of nice texture so as I put the ink on there it won't bleed everywhere automatically um, and what I did was, I went and drew this twice, just to make my life a little easier. Um, and I started doing my ink washes on top of my paper. So here's what we did. Start off with the outside edge of your illustration, and then you're slowly going to add water into the ink. So you get that nice bleed effect. So let me show you what this looks like. Zoom in real quick. So using my brush here, I'm going to take a little bit of just the raw ink. Make sure it's hydrated. Don't want a dry brush there because that's going to actually be negative in the effect. So I'm bringing the outside edge of my mountain down. Then, just using regular water, go in and lighten those grays. And remember, mountains are craggy, so they got the, all these different textures on them. So as I'm painting, 
I want to try and create a, you know, not a real smooth brush stroke, but I want to try and move it around a little bit, and that's just going to make more of a shadow effect, or more gradient effect, and now look closer to those craggy rocks. Just taking a little tissue, blot off the excess water to get those nice mountain-esque shapes, so I get those nice smoky mountains above my little uh, hut down at the bottom. I'll put Bogota on the side over there in a second. So, using these techniques, work on your landscape piece, get that old world Japan um, design fleshed out. Good luck.